The biggest selling point of the DJI RS4 in a sports context is its ability to switch back and forth between horizontal and vertical filming in about 10 seconds. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to do that and of course discuss all the other features that make this gimbal a very useful accessory when filming sports. Hey guys, my name is E, I'm a professional sports videographer and the purpose of my YouTube channel is to give you the tools and knowledge necessary to jumpstart your very own sports videography careers. And today I want to achieve that by talking about gimbals and sports, more specifically the DJI RS4. As you may know if you've been watching this channel, I am not a gimbal guy. I never use them to film sporting events. The only time I do use them is when I shoot media days. The reason I never use them during games is because I always felt that gimbals were too slow and not responsive enough to film unpredictable fast-paced action. They also make it very difficult to use big zoom lenses like this one. But uh, in all honesty, recently I've been a bit disappointed with myself uh, because I realized that I wasn't, um, well, how can I say this? I felt like I was getting very lazy with the, 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 the creativity side of my sports videography on game days. I haven't really taken the time to work on the composition of my shots lately. Uh, I also kind of stopped trying to film in a way that would make my videos more dynamic and engaging. Instead, I kind of tend to just follow the ball and just you know, do it from a, a comfortable position where I know I'm going to get the shot and I just kind of hope that the action on the field or on the court tells the story by itself. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's gone through this, but at some point it has to stop. This is what I do for a living. And not only that, but I'm actually trying to help you guys uh, get better. So it would be very hypocritical of myself if I wasn't trying to get better uh, myself. So anyway, the important thing is I caught myself, I realized what was happening, and I'm actually doing something about it. So recently I decided to be way more conscious and proactive with the composition of my shots. I also decided to film almost exclusively from a low angle. And when I mean low, I mean super low. It's time for me to stop playing the old man card and get down low. And finally, I decided to film a little bit wider than usual, which should allow me to integrate more camera movements into my cinematography style. So the timing was quite perfect when DJI reached out to me and offered to send me this gimbal for a review on my channel. Because with the right gimbal, it becomes a lot easier to integrate cinematic camera movements and filming perspectives, as well as beautiful composition. And I know this for a fact, because a few weeks ago, I was filming a football game for the CFL, and I was there with a few other videographers, and one of them, Corey, he was actually shooting with the DJI RS4, and his shots, in my opinion, looked way better than mine. What's that a hold in the light of this moon? My mind keeps searching. But my heart decides Thoughts can be cruel They're not mine to own The space unravels When you let go What's yours in mind That energy goes today The feather in the fire Will blow it home your way So there are a few reasons why I believe that the DJI RS4 is the perfect gimbal to get the type of shots you just watched. First of all, it is very responsive, especially when you set the follow speed to fast, which I definitely recommend for sports. 
By the way, I also prefer to use the PF mode for sports because it's a lot easier to follow the action and keep the ball in frame when the camera cannot tilt up or down by itself. Otherwise, I really like the 3kg or 6.6 pounds payload capacity. I can put a fairly heavy Sony FX3 camera on there, plus a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, and it's still pretty easy to balance the whole thing. Not only that, but with the Focus Pro motor that comes with this gimbal, you can even control the focus or the zoom from the gimbal through a Bluetooth connection. I've personally put it on the zoom because this Sony 70 to 200 mm G Master lens has an internal zoom. So as you can see, I can zoom in and out as I please and the lens does not expand at all, which means that the balancing of my gimbal won't be affected. But like I said earlier, the new me prefers to use uh, wider lenses like a 35mm for example, which allows me to do more camera movements, mainly tracking shots like these. And if I do feel the need to zoom in a little bit, I can still do it with the gimbal's Bluetooth connection by controlling the clear image zoom. But of course, the pièce de résistance of the RS4 is its ability to go easily from horizontal to vertical filming. DJI completely redesigned the mounting plate system for this gimbal, meaning that you do not need to take the camera completely off its mounting plate and rework the arms if you want to film vertically. You can easily swap this gimbal from horizontal to vertical in approximately 10 seconds. All you need to do is loosen up one knob Press the quick release button, pop off the entire base of the arm, reinsert it vertically and lock it into place. Imagine how much of a game changer this is for social media content producers. If the mountains on the cans blue, need one for bulb hands, baby grab two. Lay out on the front and get your tan on. Water to my knees, a hundred deep out of the sand bar. No keep a track of time, fuck a last car. Eyes on the prize, everyone looking like who she? Maybe off one in that two piece. Walk the pit is my intentions, I can make it splash. What's the cost of risking it all? I can pay in cash. <laughs> it feels right. Drop the anchor down, we'll be here for a while. Got me thinking about all the good times coming our way. Oh yeah. Ooh, put it on me. My little pond to shorty. It's okay, it's okay. At the lake, it's a party. It's a motherfucking party. And it's about to go down. Ooh, put it on me. She my little pond to shorty. On the way to the lake, ooh, yeah, it's a party. It's a motherfucking party. And it's about to go down. Just to be clear, you will need to slightly adjust the balancing when going from horizontal to vertical, but it is pretty quick. Especially with the new Teflon coating on the arms that allows a much smoother and easier balancing experience. This was actually my first time ever filming sports vertically, and I'll admit it was a challenge at first, but once I got used to it, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. But the gimbal helped a lot to be honest, otherwise filming vertically from a low angle would have been quite difficult and the results probably would have been very shaky. Although I would recommend getting this extra arm from a small rig to attach a field monitor like I did, otherwise I think I would have struggled a lot more with my framing. And just so you know, there are links in the description to the DJI RS4 gimbal and the small rig attachment if you are interested in learning more about them. I would personally pay the extra money to get the DJI RS4 over the RS3, but uh, I'm not sure I would go as far as buying an RS4 if I already owned an RS3, unless you are really into vertical videography. Either way, I will definitely keep using this gimbal in my future game day shoots to help me make good on my recent resolutions and I'm excited to see the impact it will have on the cinematography of my videos moving forward. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can witness the evolution of my videos and let me know your thoughts in the comments.